Um, well, uh, regarding the oil, uh, earnings reporting by oil majors uh, for this quarter, certainly, as you can see, the uh, bearish sentiment in the market has made an impact. And certainly there is a, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not that still optimistic regarding the uh, next quarters in 2020, especially currently with the coronavirus outbreak in China, which has led to a kind of, that has brought some sort of uncertainty on the economic growth and oil demand. And consequently, that may be reflected on uh, the uh, uh, the earnings of oil majors. Just look into the stock market, the Dow Jones and uh, S&P, and see the losses that's been made um, just over the past uh, week. And so I'm not still uncertain on how the economic situation will continue. Just look at the oil markets and where the major losses that has, have, have happened uh, so far. So until we see a major recovery in the oil markets, uh, then I think we can <laughs> draw some certainty on the per future performance of oil companies in, the, uh, in, the Q in Q2 of 2020. Uh, I want to switch very quickly to the oil price because as you said, there is a major decline over there. And let me just bring some stats to our viewers. The energy was the S&P's 500 worst performing sector each of the past two years. And so far, 2020 isn't looking any better. Uh, the group has dropped 8.3% this month on pace for its worst January since 2008. As we can see, WTI is trading $51 per barrel and the Brent $56 per barrel down by more than 4%. Uh, so certainly the coronavirus uh, brought lots of panic and lots of markets jitters, both on equities, uh, bond market, and the energy sector. How much of an impact uh, will the coronavirus uh, has on the energy sector, uh, let's say, in the upcoming quarter? And do you think it's going to be one of the major concerns for OPEC? Um, absolutely. Well, according to the estimates that we have uh, made so far, uh, we see a decline in uh, oil demand in China by about uh, 800,000 on the uh, at least within, let us say, this is the best scenario. And, uh, and that's uh, talking about March uh, 2020. And the worst scenario, then you could see a decline in oil demand in China by about a million and uh, 300,000 barrels. Um, uh, of course, that, dep oh, that all depends on the growth of the Chinese economy within the, uh, for within that within this particular period, um, uh, if, uh, certainly so. We can see now there is a major impact on Corona, or from the coronavirus on the Chinese economy, with leading to a, a significant decline in oil demand, and that will consequently be reflected on the prices. Uh, certainly, OPEC seems to have uh, taken that issue <laughs> into account. However, currently there is some sort of uh, uh, there, there are some negotiations on advancing the group's meeting uh, from March to April, February, uh, so next month actually. But um, the, as, a way, as far as I know, that the uh, Russians are still uh, considering uh, uh, giving the, uh, the markets a bit of time in order to assess the true impact of coronavirus before uh, deciding on making any, any uh, kind of uh, immediate further uh, cuts from the organizations at uh, this time. So um, right. uh, I think we, that's what the, cur the current image and what we see. So I think we, uh, there, right. there, is a, there is a likelihood that there could be additional cuts coming from OPEC if the situation continues to deteriorate. All right. Thank you very much, Yusuf Oshimori, Editor-in-Chief, C Markets. Thank you for joining us. All the pleasure. Thank you, Alexander. Well, let's get back to the U.S. equities.